Four off the block of Vinny Loops, and we are now joined by McHendry men's volleyball head coach Nikki Salen after her team got a big non-conference victory today on their home court, defeating UC San Diego. And coach, I have to ask you, you were able to hit 315 against a really good West Coast team. You know, what were you guys able to do to be so successful offensively? Um, I know we talked a lot uh, in the past is, you know, being a little more neutral on the offense and getting the middles involved and not trying to ride our pins uh, too much. I know after set one, uh, the pins combined for, you know, 33 total attempts in the middle seven. That was just way too much. That They can't sustain that. And I thought it was a little more balanced attack going into sets two through four. Well, talking about that balanced attack, you know, one player in particular who uh, stepped up tonight, Patrick Ross, 15 kills to lead you, and then defensively 14 digs, and he's a freshman. Can you just talk about his playing, what he's been able to do for you guys this season? Patty has been pretty phenomenal for us this season. You know, you, you don't necessarily know what you're expecting coming in as a freshman. The game's a, a whole different level. It's faster, the guys jump higher, hit harder, and he's he's pretty much stayed the course and is pretty steady. I, I think the good thing is, being a freshman, he doesn't have to think too much. Um, he has pretty good vision, and he's actually statistically our best passer and, you know, being consistent. And, and that's just him. That's just who he is. He's not a big, flashy guy. He doesn't say a whole lot, but he puts his head down and, and grinds pretty hard for us. And he had maybe one match that he may have struggled, but he's doing. A, he's having a great freshman season. Now, I want to take you back to the uh, first game. You guys are winning in overtime, 34-32, really a back-and-forth overtime. What did you see from your team that really made the difference in that overtime that kind of enabled you to get that opening win? Uh, they, they didn't quit. That's something that we've been talking about is, um, you know, emptying the glass, uh, leaving all the energy out on the court and, you know, finishing the game. And even though I think we, we missed four, you know, set point serves, but they didn't give up. They kept siding out and taking big swings. And we talk a lot about no hero ball. You don't need to basically put your soul into a swing to score a point. Are you thinking? Are you trying to play smart and play to win for your team? And, you know, talking about, you know, we talked about the beginning of the match, but game four, I do want to ask you, you know, a tight match in that fourth game and a couple of huge digs by your libero, Zach Thompson. What has Zach meant for you and just his ability to be able to seemingly make some big digs in big moments? Well, I don't know. He took a really hard shot and set three just down the line from Tanner and, you know, we you know, tested him, see if he was okay, and he went right back in 30 seconds later, and it was actually a timeout, and, you know, he got hit really hard, and the fact that he was resilient enough to come back in and make plays for us was the best best I've seen him play. You know, he's had a, a great season so far, and, you know, as a coach, you're putting a lot of pressure on your guys, and it's time for him to step up and be great, and... He's being great for us, and he's finally believing that he's great, and it's phenomenal to see. So I, I couldn't be a prouder person that he took a blow like that and came back in and, you know, stepped, game, stepped his game up. He was a major part of why we won. And, Coach, I know obviously, you know, it's a non-conference match, so, you know, it doesn't affect you in the conference standings, but kind of as a whole, what do you think a win like this says to the country about the McKendry program? That we're growing. Um, you know, this is year five for us, and but for me, we're just like any other program, and and I, I feel respected by my peers, and I know the guys feel respected, but that means we're we're equally as talented as anybody else, and I, I think we're feeling that from our peers and our opponents, and you know, it's the sky's the limit for the kids, and they they believe in, they're buying in, and they work hard every day for me, so I couldn't really ask for more. Yeah. And with that being said, you know, you entered this week number four in the Division Two coaches poll. You were getting votes in the D1, D2 coaches poll. Do you guys think you're making a case to even get more votes and maybe even move up the D2, D2 rankings? I hope so. Um, UCSD is a phenomenal team, and to play pretty well tonight like that, and, you know, we've strung together a couple good sets, you know, early on in the season, um, playing some of these teams, you know, that are in the rankings very tight, and, it's really nice to see that some of the other coaches are recognizing our play, and the kids themselves are starting to believe our play. So it's it's really all kind of coming together at a good time. Yeah, 
And Coach, final question, we'll, we'll let you go on this. You know, you look at, you know, your last two matches and even going back to your, you know, last three matches where you almost beat Fort Wayne, almost upset them. Then you beat Ball State. Now you beat UC San Diego. Do you feel that your team is starting to play some of its best volleyball and, and has really improved since the start of the season? Um, I thought we played some good volleyball out west versus uh, Long Beach and UCLA, and we played them very competitively, and I was very pleased with that. Um, but there was obviously some, some things that we needed to work on. We needed to find out what our identity is, and I think that's you know, a major key to why they're you know doing well right now. Uh, we play Quincy on Monday, and they're another tough opponent, and it's a conference match. But the kids are finding out who we are as a team, and I think that's helping their play. But they're doing a great job in the gym, and you know, not every day is easy. We practice at 6 a.m., and you know, I'm probably sometimes tough to, to play for because I demand a lot out of them because I see their greatness, but they give it to me every day.